Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's talk about Gynex, so here we go. Alright. Let's talk about the situation with Gynex, considering that this is according to Forbes. Now... Gynex has filed for <laughs> bankruptcy after 40 years of operation. Now, Gynex, the studio behind the anime series Neon Genesis and Vangelion, has filed a bankruptcy, a bankruptcy after 40 years of operation. Founded in 1984, which was the same year as when, I think, the Macross movie came out? Let me look it up. The Macross movie, Do You Remember Love? Let me see. Macross, do you remember that came? Do you remember love? Yep, 1984. Gynex came out. Gynex was a different kind of anime studio built and run by anime fans who were incredibly talented artists and animators. And they were unique and authenticity and passion drove the studio and its works. Yeah, that was good. M While many outside of Japan will know Neon Genesis and Vigalian, Gynex, other animes were as good, if not better, with shows like Gunbuster and Nadia being some of the best mediums of anime has to offer. Which was Nadia, Secrets of Blue Water, and Over the Top Gunbuster. <laughs> yeah. However, in recent years, the founders did spin-offs of studios such as Kara and Trigger. Gynex had uh, pretty badly mismanaged in terms of finance, which was true, because apparently the the let's just put it this way: the chief Evangelion uh, Tio, uh, Tomohiro Maki. The president of the studio, known for producing Neon Genesis and other famous animes, denied allegations of molestation. As you can see right here, Tokyo Metropolitan Police, and this was back in 2019. Arrested in, in the presidency of the <laughs> studio uh, of Gynex Co. Thursday, allegedly co cohesing a teenager woman into posing nude images and touching her in the pretext that was training her for photo shoots as an entertainer yeah that really hurt the reputation of Gynex after what he did he could have dropped out but no 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 he didn't that's why a lot of people left because of the, the scandal that happened because of that Japan can be very lawful and harsh when it comes to uh to uh, the behavior of one person and a lot of people left because of this one person Maki for a lot of reasons which ruined Gynex's reputation which pretty much blacklist them from being in uh, working with other projects they still did manage to make do some projects but sadly Gynex hasn't been active so, as laid out by Gynex's official site, the company filed for bankruptcy on, on May 29th and explains how the company came to be in this situation. It also is something that has been a long time coming. Gynex has been in trouble in terms of inordinate amount of debts for a good while. In addition, Kara also posted that their own explanation of events as the steel was not linked, in, linked in not only creatively through Hideki Anno, but also, Kara had been trying to help Gynex pull itself out of its mess. The big thing here is where the intellectual property rights end up. The ideal world shows like Evangelion, Nadia, Gunbuster would go to Hidekiano at Kara, whereas FLCL and Gurren Lagan will end up at somewhere like Trigger. Would Trigger also? A company that has been trying to get uh, help, trying to help Gynex due to sharing the stuff. 
staff such as Hiro Hiroyuki Yoshimi, among others. All told, though, this is still a sad day for anime. Gainax was one of the shining beacons of creative innovation. Yeah, which is true. They were the, the best that people loved. And I, and I did watch some of their animes. Like, there's a long list of animes I have seen on this list based on my anime list. They have done Panty Stockings. They have done Gurren Lagann. But they also did uh, Money Mahoro Romantica and Gunbuster. And there were also other animes. <laughs> That's an adorable anime, but I, I probably would watch it. Uh, but they were also known for Wings of Horiyamas, which was a, an interesting anime for itself. I, I, they also did like music videos and commercials, which they have done in the past just to get work. And they also did um, Battle Mode, which wasn't the best anime. I'll probably look it up. Theme is a parody. Might watch it. It's like one episode. <laughs> but as far as I know, because um, I do like to watch like really crappy animes. <laughs> but I'll check it out anyways just to see if I can find it online. Hopefully I can find like a fan sub of it. Anyways, the fact is, guys, um, they have been around for decades, for 40 years, and it's sad that they are going out of business and going... As you can see right here, June 7th, which is about on the 11th right now, they're gone. And they shall be missed, but sadly, their reputation was hurt. But I do, but we'll always remember the great times they were around as a company, making great anime titles, and hopefully these companies... I gotta look them up. Studio Kara and Studio um, Trigger will be, hopefully, the studios that can keep uh, the memory of Gynex somewhat alive, except without their uh, ex-president. Anyways, leave your thoughts down below and tell me what you guys think, because... I got to get out of here. Peace.